A $200 banister update? Don't mind if I do. This is you spending your $200? No, I did not steal it. Then you gotta cut the 4x4 post and the 2x4. I cut a little spacer block at 4.5 inches and started making some lines. These lines represent where you're gonna put the metal post. Now sandwich the 2x4 and the 4x4 together and mark out those lines so everything's nice and even. Use your speed square to mark center. Then it's time to drill your holes with your forester bit. Each hole is 4.5 inches. That means bar to bar is 4 inches. So it's up to code. Then you cut your side post and then you start drilling the holes for your bolt. Bolts. That is one big bolt. You put all these inside the frame and you are sturdy. Now grab the paint or stain of your choice and get busy. Then it's time for my favorite part, putting the poles in the holes. I like to hammer them in the holes to make sure they're nice and stuck. This part of the video is getting a little X rated, but this is how it's looking so far. Then you get to transfer it over to the house where it belongs. I use a zip bolt from Amazon and some big ass screws. I use a forester bit to countersink all the holes for the screws. Once you enter that big ass screw, you're gonna come back with some wood plugs so you won't even even know that it's there. I put four of these screws into the floor and then I also put two into the wall. Now it's time to dress it up with this waterfall edge of red oak. This piece will be attached by glue and screws. There's some of the glue and here's some of the screws. Once everything is set, now you get to stain this bad boy. I use the same stain on the banister as they did on the floors. And that is how I made this beautiful banister. Not too bad of a project and not too bad of a price. And yes, it really was that price and if you want to argue with me, then fight me, bro. Either way, follow for more information like this. Love you.